So guys, it's Declan here, and today, instead of bringing you guys a brand new RP glitch, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how to make your own. Yes, I said it, this video is going to be showing you guys how to make your own RP glitch, and this is actually the latest version I put on my channel, and if you guys want to see that in action, I will leave a link to that in the top right corner of the screen via annotation, or in the description below. So this is basically the complete version, or the complete AFK version, of the RP glitch that I did make the other day, the one where you don't even have to move when you spawn into the game you can literally just stand there and get RP and then replay the mission whereas with other capture jobs you did kind of have to move and then get into position so this is the best RP glitch and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it so all I ask guys is that you leave a like on the video let's see if we can shoot for something well over 600 likes for this awesome tutorial and with that said let's begin so guys to start this off the first thing you want to do is simply enter creator mode you can do that by going into an online session then pressing start going across to online and then going down to creator beta now the creator mode has been placed back into the game for anybody who doesn't know rockstar did temporarily remove it yesterday but it is now back into the game anyway once you guys have spawned into creator mode you want to select create a capture and then select content now i'm going to be trying to take you guys through this step by step so hopefully you guys can understand this but basically once you are in the creator mode you want to go ahead and press start and then you want to select a location on the map that is very open. I choose the racetrack but once you press start and go onto the map and you select a location it will teleport you to that location on the map. So as you can see I have now been teleported to the racetrack and this is where I am going to be making the capture or the RP glitch. Anyway, once you are in a open enough location, the first thing you want to do is click on capture details. Now from here you do need to fill in a few details related to the job itself, starting off with the title, you can go ahead and name that anything you want, it doesn't really matter. And then the same for the description, once again this is your own RPE job so you can name these anything you want and then take a photo afterwards. Now as soon as you've done that you are now onto the number of players and number of teams. Now this is down to personal preference once again. You need to make sure the number of players and number of teams is the exact same. So if you want this to be a two player job then you will need to select the number of teams to two and the number of players to two. Whereas if you want it to be a three player job you will set it to number of teams to three and number of players to three also. Bear in mind though whatever you select this to say if you select this to a two player job then you will need two players to start this game or if you select it to a three player job then you will need at least three players to start the game. So just bear that in mind when you are selecting this option. So the next thing that you need to change is the team details. So all you want to do from there is go down to team details, then select team score, and then change every team's target score to eight points. Make sure that every team's target score is set to eight points, and from there simply hit B, and then you are pretty much done with the capture details. So hit B once again, and then go down to placement. Now this is where you're actually constructing the RP glitch yourself. So from there click on place trigger and then select your trigger location and make sure that it is relatively close where you are going to be making the RP job itself. Now from there go down to lobby camera and take a photo and then once you guys have done that go down to team capture points and then place a capture point for each team. So as you can see simply place one down for team one then go across a little bit then place it down for team two and then so on and so forth for team three and four if you are going to be using a third and fourth team. Nevertheless, once you have selected the capture points, what you want to do is go up to team start points and then select team one. Now here's what you have to do here guys, is simply place the start point anywhere you want and then you have to pick it back up by hovering over the start point and then pressing A. That will pick it back up and then once you guys have picked the start point back up, you want to take it straight over to the very center of the capture point. So as you can see, for team one, select team one and put it directly in the center of team one's capture point with the arrow pointing towards the right. And then you guys have to do that the same thing again for team two. Once again, place the team start point down, pick it back up and then place it directly in the center of the capture point with the arrow pointing towards the right. So as you can see that little arrow there, make sure that it is facing towards the right. Anyway, once you have done that perfectly for each team, simply press B and then go down to capture objects. You are now at the last part of the glitch. As you can see, you cannot normally put the security case inside of the capture point. Now there is actually a glitch to do that, so what you want to do is simply place the security case down, then pick it back up by hovering over it and pressing A. And then once you guys have picked it back up, what you then want to do is take it over to the center of the capture point as you can see right now and you want to place it half inside the start point and half outside try to do it exactly as i do it here make sure that it is half inside and half outside of the start point and to place it you need to press b 
Now when you press B, it will glitch out and it will enable you to place the briefcase inside of the capture point. So now as you can see, the briefcase is inside of the capture point. It's also half inside of the start point and half outside of the start point. You want to do the same for each team. Once again, place the suitcase down, then pick it back up, then take it over to the team capture point and then place it half inside of the center and half outside of the center, kind of like this. It is kind of hard to explain, so hopefully the video itself is self-explanatory. But press B to place it and it will glitch it out and place it exactly like so. Once again, this is really hard to explain, so I do apologize if it is hard to follow. Nevertheless, once you guys have done that, you have basically done the glitch and all you now need to do is simply test it. So once you click test, you need to test it for team one to make sure that it's working. And as you can see, the briefcase is successfully glitching out and I am AFK, I do not have to move, which means it has successfully worked and that if this race was, or this job, sorry, was actually published, then that would be giving me RP, as you guys are gonna see at the end of the video. Nevertheless, once you have tested team one, you then need to test team two, just to see if it's working. Once again, as you can see, the briefcase is glitching out and it is giving me, well, it would be giving me RP if it wasn't actually in test mode. Anyway, once you have successfully tested each and every single one of the teams and they are perfectly set up and working, you can then simply save or publish the job and then you have successfully done the glitch. You can then access it via your jobs or bookmark jobs and then you can do this with your friends. As you can see, I do have a pre-made one here just to show you guys and each and every single one of you guys get a mad amount of RP. You gain a ridiculous amount of RP. This is by far the best RP glitch in the game and I'm going to leave the tutorial there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and hopefully you guys can now go out there and make your own RP jobs. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below, guys, for this awesome tutorial. Can we try and hit something well over 600 likes in this video? That would be awesome. And if you guys want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do that at 2DynamicHD. We will always try to interact with you guys on there and keep you up to date on things like this. If you have any questions, make sure you ask us on there and I'll be sure to get back to you. Anyway, with that said, I will see you all in the next video.